So what's really difficult here for the stop system is we know that the message doesn't even have a chance to get up to the frontal lobes for them to weigh in. It's coming in under the radar before you have a chance to mount a defense. So what's so impressive to me is that this GO system is so incredibly sensitive that while many of the things we experience are multiple seconds long, they don't have to be to get it going. And for our patients, I think it will be a helpful piece of news because for them, they sometimes couldn't point to the cue or label the cue that set off this craving state. If this kind of moment arises so quickly, we need something to be in place to sort of bring things into a manageable range before the challenge of a go moment. We've begun to study a medication that would help quiet things down, that would sort of like tune down the volume on the go system. This medication called baclofen, it's familiar, it's been around a long time, but we found that it can reduce the activity in this system a little bit, bringing it sort of into a more manageable range. So what this picture shows is that in patients who are untreated, who have no medication, who see half-second cocaine cues, the brain has an intense dialogue. One way to think about this picture is that you're seeing a visual representation of let's go for it. And you can tell that it's a very intense dialogue because of these very hot spots. On the other hand, when we look at patients who are treated for seven days with baclofen, what you can see is that now this intense conversation has been reduced to a whisper. It's not that the brain is dead, there's activity, but instead of go, 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 it's, I don't know, it doesn't seem like it's worth going. And so the hope is that you would have a chance for the frontal lobe to do its thing, to be able to weigh in and have a chance to put into place good decision making.